Hello everyone! Inzo now support mods, giving us access to the game's files, like mesh file, textures, animations, and other assets. Now we can create all kinds of custom content. In this video, I'll show you how to import your own 3D model into Build Studio. Whether it's something you made or find online, I'll guide you through the entire process step by step. Let's get started. To add custom models into Inzoi, we need Blender, a free 3D modeling software. Download the latest version from here and install it. Next, we need a plugin, Henkepo plugin. This tool lets us export 3D objects directly into Inzoi. Download the latest version from here. The links are in the video description. Once you have Blender installed and plugin downloaded, let's open Blender and install the plugin. Open Blender, select General. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and click on this icon. Then select Install from Disk, and locate the plugin we just download. Select it, and install. Ok, it's installed, this is it. Make sure it's checked. Now we can import our 3D object. First, let's grab the 3D object we want to add into Inzoi. For this example, I download a free 3D vehicle model from this site. We can use any 3D model format, OBG, FBX, SDL, doesn't matter. Once we downloaded the model, extract the zip file to a new folder and open Blender. Create a new project and select all default objects and press delete to remove them. Now switch to the modeling workspace and let's import our 3D model. Go to File, Import and choose the format of your model, OBG, FBX or whatever. Locate the 3D object file and select it, then hit Import. Alright, our model is now in Blender. The first thing we need to check is our textures, see if they're applied or not. Change your viewport mode to Shading Preview or render, so you can see the textures. In my case, the textures are not applied automatically, so I have to apply them manually. To do that, first make sure you have the textures. These are mine. Then select your model and go to shading from here. Now in node section down here, make a new image texture node like this. Then click open and locate the base color of your model which is this, and open. Then connect this yellow dot to this base color, and done. To apply other textures, also do the same steps. Connect them to their corresponding sections. And if you're not sure how to do that, check out this video. I made it for this specific guide. Next, make sure your objects are joined together. If your model is made up separate parts, you'll need to join them into one object. Mine is joined, but let's say what if it wasn't. To join them, select all parts one by one, hold the shift and click on each part to select them all. Then go to object and click join. Now your model is a single object. Once that's done, check to make sure the object is the right size. If it's too big, scale it down. If it's too small, scale it up. Adjust it until it's the right size. Finally, after everything looks good, press A to select all. Then Ctrl plus A and apply all transforms. Make sure to do this. And done. You should also know that you don't need an armature for your model. Not for this process. Now let's export. First, press N to open the side panel. Then locate the Inzoider tab. It's this one. And select it. Now we need to set the export path. Click on the folder icon here. Then navigate to Documents, Inzoi. If you don't already have it, create a new folder and call it AI Generated. Once that's done, open it, and create another folder inside it, call it 
My 3D Printer. Open that folder as well and accept it as the path. This is where we export our model. Next, select your object, then click on this plus sign to add it to the list. Now fill out the form, name your 3D print, add a description for it, and your name. You can also add a thumbnail, but it's optional. To do this, take a picture of your model and locate it and add it here. Once everything filled out, click OK. Give it a few seconds to load. This may take a while if your model is complex. Now, as you can see, the model is ready. Select it and click the export icon. This will export the model to the directory we set up earlier. Finally, check the folder to make sure the model is here. And that's it. You're all set. Run the game. Go to Build Studio and come to Craft. And as you can see, it's here. Select it and place it anywhere you want. And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you ever wanted to remove a 3D object from the game, it's simple. Just delete the folder inside my 3D printer and it will be gone. And this is just the beginning. I have so many more videos planned for Enjoy, like have to add costume characters and play as them, and much more. Also, huge thanks for your donations. I really appreciate every bit of support you're giving me. Even $2 helps more than you think. So, thank you. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll try to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.